In this session, we will discuss about search algorithms that can be used in data structures. Here, we will discuss the different search algorithms that can be used in arrays. A search algorithm is a method of locating a specific item of information in a larger collection of data. Sequential or linear search and binary search are two of the most common type of search algorithms. Let's start discussing linear search. As the name suggests, this searching algorithm searches an element in an array in a linear or sequential way. It uses a loop to sequentially search through an array from the first element until it has found the value being searched. This is an example algorithm for linear search using pseudocode. First, we initialize the value of r equal to 0 since we will be searching from the first index of the array. Next, we search through the array until we find the element. If the current element is not equal to the value being searched, we increment the value of r to check for the next element. This while loop halts when the element is found or when the search reached the last element and still, the value being searched is not found. Here is a sample implementation of the algorithm written in C++. In this sample code, the elements of the array are already specified or initialized. In this program, the array is searched if there is a 100 points earned in a certain test. The indices are the test numbers. In C++ we use C out for displaying an output, and C in when getting an input. Note that the search list function requires parameter and returns an integer. The return value will then be stored in the results variable. If a 100 point is found, it will return the index where it is found. Otherwise, it will return minus 1. A function in C++ is equivalent to a method in Java. Take note of the comments in the code. Here, the searching is performed. Whatever the result, found or not found, it will be stored in the position variable. This is the output when we run the program. This means that there is an element in the array that has a value of 100. And, it is found in index 4, or, the fifth element. Here is the equivalent implementation in Java of the program. Copy the code, run, and check the output of the program. This is a continuation of the previous code. Try this and run the code. Linear search is straightforward and simple. It is easy to understand and implement. Unlike other search algorithms, 
linear or sequential search does not require the array to be sorted. However, since the search is done from the first element until the last element, the search process might become longer if the element being searched is found in the last indices of the array, or worst, the value is not found in the array. We will now proceed to binary search. In binary search, the elements in the array must be sorted or arranged, either from lowest to highest value or, highest to lowest value. Commonly, the elements are sorted from lowest to highest value. Binary means two. This means that in binary search, we will divide the array into two. Again, in binary search, we will divide the array into two. Then, the first element to be searched will be at the middle of the element of the array. For example, if the array has 10 elements, the first element to be searched will be at index 5. The element at index 5 will be compared to the value being searched. If the element in index 5 is not equal to the value being searched, it will search either in the first half or the second half. If the value being searched is less than the element in index 5, the first half will be halved again and will be searched. The process continues until the search value is found or, until it cannot divide the list anymore. If the item is greater than the middle element, the search starts over starting with the middle element in the second half of the list. It then continues having the list until the item is found or there are no having to be done. This figure shows that the value being searched is at the eighth element. Here is a sample program of binary search algorithm implemented in C++. Analyze this code and convert it to Java. This will be your activity in the Engage section of your module. Sample Program Continuation Sample program continuation. Here the searching process is placed in a function or method. Sample program continuation. This is a sample output of the program. If you search for the ID number 199, the program will respond that it is found at element 4 in the array. Hope you have learned about the linear and binary search algorithms today. Thank you for watching.